love visiting with uh, entrepreneurs, and uh, Megan Dodd is one. And uh, Megan, we welcome you to the program this morning, and you brought in a, a special guest with you. Yep. Crystal. That's Crystal Sofer. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Lynn? Good. Good to visit with you guys this morning. Uh, first of all, before we get into it, tell us a little bit about yourselves. Well, um, I moved to Titusville recently in the last month. I'm from Meadville. Um, I opened a store in Meadville, um, the Salty Spa, and then I am now back in Titusville. My family's from Titusville, the Corklands, the Dodds. You guys are probably familiar. Um, their, their pictures are plastered in the, at the post office. <laughs> so, yes, you see them all the time, yes. Yep, so that's my family. Um, just kind of great to be back home. You know, like I said, family friends are here. So, yeah, that's pretty much my story. All right. Um, I live here in town, so um, I own Crystal's Tropical Tans, and um, we had an empty space, and so we kind of talked with Megan about she was moving back to town, and would she like to move her business here? Great. And you happened to, you, you found a business that has the same name as you. I created that business. I know, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> conveniently. It's so convenient, yeah. Um, so that's that's excellent. Um, now, uh, so talk a little bit about the, the Salty Spa. Uh, we have Crystal Lundy on uh, once a week from the, the Meadville Chamber, and it's, she talks about it all the time. Oh yeah, Krista, yeah. Um, so we are located in Meadville, PA. It is an alternative health and wellness spa with a boutique as well. Um, as you can see up front here, we have, I do hand make all the bath and body products. Oh, wow. So we have the boutique up front and then we have a salt room, which is good for allergies, cold flu, sinuses. There's some other services there that are spa services. And then on Sundays we have um, one of our massage therapists does massages in the salt room on Sundays. So wow. it's very nice. So we have a little bit of a boutique. So we have the services and then we have retail as well. That's wonderful. Yeah. So at what point did you decide I'm going to start a business? <laughs> well, um, so when I was really young, I always kind of knew I was going to go into business because I had always done like trade shows and did different. Um, I set up at like farmers markets and I okay. sold products. Um, I did that when I was really, really young. And I always wanted to own my own business when I was younger. I just didn't know how to take that next step. And um, I had gone into corporate, worked at GE for some time, and then decided, you know, this is not for me. <laughs> I'm a little bit more <laughs> different than the corporate world. So I decided to, at that time, go ahead and take the leap of faith and just jump into business and um, been open in the Meadville location since November. Wow. And congratulations on that. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Crystal, for you, uh, tell us about uh, your business experience and what kind of got you to do it, what you do. Well, I um, I work as a behavior specialist right now. I also do that. Well, that's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. really why you're here. You know, I thought I would, you know, kind of work too. I knew too. why you were here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I do that as well. Um, but the tanning salon where I bought has gone under numerous changes. No owner stayed there very long. And it was kind of frustrating to me wanting to tan. And I'm like, well, it's for sale again. So I talked to my husband. He goes, well, if you really want to do it, I guess you can pursue your hobby, is what he said. <laughs> That's great. So then I talked to the people who were selling it and bought it and went from there. So there was a just an empty space there and I'm like something has to go in there because it looks like we're not open because the front's empty so people would say oh well we don't know where you are because we're all the way in the back part yeah. mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. just looking around and I was like well something that has to go with tanning what can go in there that would kind of fit the whole thing and so talking with Megan we thought her stuff would go with ours and kind of work together that's wonderful. <laughs> it's it's kind of thrilling, isn't it, to take that that as you said that leap of faith? Yeah, I yeah. mean it's scary. It's a leap of faith for sure. But, it is. Uh -huh. it is. but it's exciting too. Yeah. Um, so, about six months ago, the is when I kind of noticed that the bath and body and the boutique portion is what was doing really well in my store. And so what's gonna be at Crystal store is a little bit like a micro boutique. So it won't have the services right away. We would love to have some services down the road. Cause we have space for that. There is space, yeah. So. Um, but right now we're just offering, you know, the boutique portion and the bath and body because it does exceptionally well. People started, you know, driving from Titusville in different locations for the products. 
So we thought, you know, it would be great to have something of a localized feel for Titusville. Um, and that'll be specializing in this type of items. That's great. Uh, and then for the Meadville location, where are you located? On 890 Park Avenue. So right downtown Meadville. Um, we're actually going to be... There's a store that's moving two doors down from us called Cup and Spoon. Their grand opening is also today. So Park Avenue is becoming very busy in Meadville. So that if you ever get out in the area of downtown Meadville, uh, make sure you stop by. You should be able to see the bright neon sign (laughs) out front. So you can't miss it. Uh, Crystal, what excites you about the products? being able to offer those well i would drive to meadville as well to buy them (laughs) so it's kind of nice for me now i can just go right to my own location and they're right there um they're very good on your skin um everything she makes is all natural products so it doesn't have a lot of chemicals or any of that stuff in which is what i like and they all smell really good (laughs) megan how'd you get into that part of it i mean was it a lot of research or did you just have experience or what you know a little bit of both i I can't even make you know pancakes so (laughs) to do a whole line like this to be fair i can't make pancakes very well either so um no actually how i started off was making candles okay and then um it sort of ventured off past that like you never seem to well as an entrepreneur you never seem to stop Mm -hmm. and you don't ever know your limits basically so you keep moving further and further and so it started as candles and then I progressed well what can I do now and then um, my first thing that I started making was the bath bombs and that was actually funny how that started because I had no idea what I was doing when I first started this was about two years ago so as you can imagine, there's all different types of ingredients. And this whole time I sit there thinking that I was going to like blow something up when I was making it. But you can't. But, you know, that's kind of how it started. And then I kept moving on to more and more things. And it did take a lot of, you know, research and and um, perfecting it. I do make all my own labels, too. So that wow. took research. There's a lot of different bumps and bruises along the way. But it was a very big learning experience uh you've been uh called the walter white of bath and body (laughs) (laughs) pretty uh, much so uh, i am going to be bath and body works of northwest pa yeah i plan on taking that demographic over now yeah right exactly (laughs) but (laughs) so did did that kind of open your your mind and 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 just say boy you know the possibilities are really endless i mean there's a lot of places i can go with this line yeah there really is because i so what started it while I had my store in Meadville, I started venturing off into wholesale ordering too. So I have a couple wholesale orders out there. I have wow. one in Centerville, um, had one in Titusville. I had stuff out in Grove City. And so that was kind of where I was like, okay, what else can I do? Because this is its own entity in itself. And so I think that this is going to be really good, but what, what more can I do? What do I do to take it to the next level? And so that is kind of how this all came about as I always wanted to have my own store. But as, as I was telling Crystal, um, I'm full-time only time employee at my, at my location in Meville. So I physically can't be at another location. So it was perfect that, you know, Crystal has her own stuff there and employees. So I was like, Hey, we can team up and, and do that in Titusville. That's so. great. Uh, and Crystal, uh, everybody's searching for things that are more natural and, and mm-hmm. not filled with, with lots of chemicals. Um, and uh, I mean, just that whole industry is, is just exploding. It is. And so working with Megan and, you know, her products, that brings those here that people don't have available in town here. I mean, I don't know anywhere else in town where you can go and buy them. Right. Everybody else, you know, if they do sell lotions or soaps or whatever, they're not handmade like hers are. Yeah. So it's Um, kind of a nice thing to have here. Just a special touch. Yeah. And, uh, again, different things, right? So somebody can come in and say, well, I'm kind of experiencing this. Right. Um, What do you have for that? Right. We have a lot of people that have skin conditions or, like, psoriasis or um, have acne. And so a lot of our ingredients, if you look at them, they're um, 10 ingredients minus. So there's the most they'll have. And so a lot of places, the top corporations have, if you actually look at the back of the ingredients, they have a lot of stuff that's really not good for your skin. Um, And so there's a lot of people that have these skin conditions that are looking for different things that will help because they don't want to not ever wear lotion again because it interacts with their skin, you know. So we try to cater to different individuals. And for our Titusville location, that's the idea, too, is to have more of a localized touch too so for instance we may have products in meadville 
that might go over in Meadville, but will definitely cater to what we see the demand is in Titusville. That's wonderful. And, and Crystal, you get to be part of that conversation, right? We're like, hey, right. people are coming in and asking about this. Right. So Megan and I will communicate a lot as, you know, hey, people really like this. Uh, this isn't going over so well. Maybe we should try something else and just be able to communicate and work together. How important is that when trying to de develop and, and grow a business? Oh, it's huge. I think it's very important because yeah. if you don't communicate with each other, it's not going to make the business work. Yeah. And since she's in Meadville most of the time, like with that location, not knowing exactly what's going on in the Titusville location every day, if we don't communicate, we're not going to be able to make it successful. Right. I'm taking notes. Corey told me he's been here two months. I just met him this morning. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I've been running into him like at once a week. Yeah, for like once the last a week. three months. I know. Get that fixed. Uh, <laughs> salty spot in, in Meadville. Meg, Megan, how did you uh, come up with the, the, the concept, the color scheme, everything about the salty spot? Because I, I would imagine there's, again, planning involved in that as well. Yep, there is a lot of planning. So there's quite a bit of planning involved, actually. Um, I had to get, to get loans. I even had to... Um, go through Northwest Commission and Erie Redevelopment Authority for those types of loans. So you have to have everything completely planned out, um, including to what happened, how you're decorating. The idea was obviously the beach theme, which is funny because, you know, we have Crystal with her, her tanning. It's also beach themed as well. Um, grew up in Florida for 10 years, so lived there, Was love the beach. Um, I love the neon old 90s or the I say old 90s. That sounds really <laughs> horrible. 90s, I felt to yeah. me, wasn't that long ago. It's not no. that long. I know. <laughs> it wasn't, yeah. um, the neon um, for the the neon signs, the the pineapples, the bright and the the beach vibes was is how it was planned and set out. And so we mimicked that in the Titusville store as well. It's it's basically the same blueprint mm -hmm. in Titusville. Just oh, smaller. That's... Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're watching the Morning Drill on stream television and on Armstrong's Neighborhood Channel and listening to it on the Allegheny News Talk Sports Network. Uh, Megan and Crystal joining us here this morning. And Crystal, I imagine for you, you you have to set the mood, right, when somebody comes in to kind of get them <laughs> in that, that space, right? Yes. Um, and so I also have a couple employees that work for us, too. And one of the things that I always look for with my employees is that they're very outgoing, you know, kind of upbeat and happy because that sets the mood as well. If yeah. they're, you know, grumpy and, you know, oh, eh, that's not gonna make anybody happy and it's not gonna make people wanna come back. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep it very light, very, you know, just happy. And it seems like people like that because people keep coming back. So, you know, we want them to feel welcome and we want our space to look welcome. And it seems to be that way. That's great. Megan, you talked about uh, developing a business plan. Um, Th those could be hit or miss, right? Yes. Because <laughs> I think once you start doing it, then you start going, oh, okay, well, I forgot about this. Or, oh, I just discovered I want to do this. Yes. And it really changes. Uh, do you feel you're kind of ahead of where you thought you'd be at this point? I'm actually I'm not ahead. That If I was ahead, I, that would be, I would be a blessing. Okay. Um, I'm right on track. Um, like I said, when you do a business plan, you have to forecast your sales for three years out. Um, and then you, and then of course I have services and then I have the retail. So you have to forecast what you're going to do for services and what you're going to do for retail. But, but did you think you would have products being offered at a different location at this stage? Way further. Oh, okay. Um, I, I anticipated that I wanted to do wholesale. I didn't have it in my business plan, um, that I was going to tap into that market right away. So this is a whole nother, you know, but once an opportunity presents itself, Ex you really have to jump on it because yes. they don't last very long. That's what I was thinking about uh, my uh, business plan 20 some years ago. <laughs> I, I remember like six months into it, the guy calls me in and I, I come in and he's like, well, you're not even close to where you thought you'd be. I'm like, that's because all of this happened. Yeah, you didn't tell me about this. <laughs> he's like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, go do it. <laughs> but, um, but again, it's got to be exciting, though, to like every day you wake up to know, hey, something could happen, right? Yeah, you just never know what you're going to get into every day. There's not a day that you really, truly know what your day is going to be like. I mean, as far as going in and if there's reservations for the services, you know about that. 
but every day is different. That's kind of why I, I really enjoy it because you never, you might have a problem one day and you might be putting out fire drills one day and the yeah. next day you might have really good sales and meet some new customers and be able to help someone out. Um, we had a girl come in who had COVID twice and um, her breathing conditions were horrible and, and she came in and she wow. was able to um, have her better breathing patterns. So that's something that you're able to say, you know, hey, I was able to do that. That's great. Uh, I was just going to say uh, the customers must make it exciting. And uh, Crystal, you're talking about just, the, you know, having that positive energy when when people are, are, are coming in and, and getting that. But I would imagine um, uh, just seeing new people come in and out makes every day a little different. Well, it does. And some of the people we get like some of the same customers every day or, you know, every other day, they're, you know, regular customers and you get to know them and they become almost like friends, you know, just, and you might not have never known them before they came in, but just because they come in, they start to talk to you, you get to know them. And it's kind of nice because they're people that you may have never talked to before. Uh, speaking of friends, uh, you have one standing behind you. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, this lovely lady here. <laughs> I was actually driving down the road, and a car went, went in front of me, and this, like, she came flying forward, and I like, put my arm in front of it. <laughs> it was kind of funny. No, we have this. This is actually in the Meadville location, but we have this particular dress that will be in the Titusville location um, in multiple sizes, these hats as well. So I just kind of wanted to showcase some of the items, and Crystal's wearing... Um, a shirt that will be kind of the design of what will be in the Titusville store as well. So um, just wanted to showcase a couple items just to show people kind of what we're going to offer there. That's wonderful. So, uh, Crystal, uh, I'm sure as you talk to customers and I'm sure when you wake up in the morning, you have ideas for your business and mm -hmm. what, what you'd like to see. Um, again, is that uh, do you find when you pick up the phone and, and talk to Megan that, you know, you, you're kind of on the same page on some of this stuff? I think we are. I mean, we both wanted to see, you know, something successful come out of this. Um, and we think that people will really enjoy the services being there too. Um, and being able to come there when they can't get to Meadville, but they still want to have these products. And so we think having this here will make it a good thing for both of us. And so I think just growing our partnership will be a benefit to both of us and the community. All right. How often do you sit down together over some coffee and go, all right, what's next? Well, we've been talking a lot recently <laughs> yes. because we're opening tomorrow. That's Tomorrow's the grand so, opening. Congratulations. Um, yes. We've been talking a whole lot this past <laughs> week, just getting everything ready and everything set up and ready to go. All right. Well, let's talk about the, uh, the big grand opening tomorrow. What time? How, <laughs> how can folks find you? Um, we are located at 113 West Central Avenue here in town. Um, and the, we open at nine tomorrow morning. Um, generally the tanning salon is open till one, but we'll stay open later tomorrow so people can browse the shop and see all the products that are there. Very nice. Um, so stop by and say hi and um, yeah. get to meet you in, in the business. Yeah. And maybe have some punch and snacks. Yeah, we'll have some snacks and, and some punch or whatever, you know, to have for the grand opening. Some discounts as well. So stop on out. Uh, Megan, for you, I'm sure you're going to be bouncing everywhere, but again, give us a location in, in Meadville and tell us um, the best way to set up an appointment. So the location in Meadville is 890 Park Avenue. We have a Facebook page, The Salty Spa. Um, our web address is thesaltyspa.us. So you can book an appointment either on the website or you can message me personally and I can book something up for you. Um, Saturday, I will will be closing down the Meadville store, and we will be at the grand opening um, in Titusville. So, if there's anyone even in Titusville location looking for services, um, we can certainly take down name, number, and and go from there as well. Excellent. Here's the other thing that's uh, that's really cool. Um, you also offer classes. Yes. So one of the things, and this wasn't my business plan, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was have not just services that people could go to, but we do have separate classes. So we have group sessions. Um, we're having our first um, self-care and wellness class that's gonna be taught by an instructor um, at the end of July. People will go and, and leave with a packet of information. Um, so we'll have different classes throughout um, the month. And I just posted on the Facebook page 
a calendar of events and classes for people to see what's available. And if there's interest, then they can message me and reach out to me. I just heard this morning a story about uh, people getting burned out, just, you know, working, you know, long hours and, and just life in general. Um, uh, maybe both of you can, can answer this. Um, the benefits of going to the Salty Spa, the benefits of maybe just coming in and tanning, just relaxing a little bit. Um, kind of give us, you know, what you hear from folks. Well, I think one of the things that we hear is that people don't take time for themselves. And so when we offer these services, that gives them the opportunity to come in, they can relax, they can have, you know, just that little bit of time that's me time. And I think in general, people don't take that time. So you do get burned out and you get stressed out. And this gives you that relaxation that you need, even if it's only for 15 minutes or a half an hour or whatever, you know, short amount of time, it still gives you that time to rejuvenate. Right, exactly. I mean, basically, basically the same that. thing. Yeah, basically the same thing Crystal was saying. It's people that they just don't give themselves the time. And if you don't give it to you, you can't give it to somebody else. So well um, very, very firm believer in that. And um, the services, even just even as something as basic, we, we've had a couple events in the Meadville location as simple as a DIY class. And we had a couple ladies come in. They're like, I just wanted to get out of the house. I didn't even care what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And so I think people want to see that. And especially with, um, you know, COVID and, and people are starting to get out and, and they want to feel a part of the community again and, and start doing stuff. So And it's good for your health. So And it's it good for your health. Yes. Keep, come back and visit with us again. Thank you so much. And best of luck with everything. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks.